Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Video Magical and Mac 20 Questions, and today we're going to have a look at motion again. So let's have a look and see what we can do with the shape and an emitter. So here we are with the shape that I've already drawn, and you already know how to draw shapes, but just to make sure, if you click there, click there, click there, and so on, you'll make your shape. But you know how to make shapes anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a, a emitter to this here to make it sort of jazz it up a bit. So you might want something like a spark or a twinkle or following the line of the shape that you've got on there, and it's not too difficult to do. So let's go to our library and we'll go to our particle emitters and we'll choose the magic wand. So let's drag the magic wand, drop it in there. So there we go, the magic wand. Let's move this to the start first of all. Okay, so we've got that moved to the start and we've got that little magic wand and press play and the little thing just sort of stays there, doesn't go anywhere. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try and make it fit to that shape. So what we need to do is we need to go to our inspector and we've got the emitter there, look. And then the emitter we want to change the shape from a point to a geometry. Now we want to change it so that it's going to fill the geometry of this Bezier curve. So we drag that and we drop it in there. So there you go. Already you can see that it's changed so that it fits the shape. So let's press play on that there and you can see there that it's following that little sort of shape that we've got there, that sort of squirrely thing. Let's change the emitter range. Let's change the birth rate up on this here as well. And we can change the life of it too. So you can make all the changes that you need to do to your emitter so that you can see what it's going to look like. You can even change the scale of it as well. So let's put it back down so it's a bit smaller. What you might want to do is you might want to change the size of this curve here and think that the uh, emitter is going to follow the shape. So what's going to happen is let's change the size of that there. I moved it over there and let's press play. And basically nothing's happened. The emitter stayed where it was and the shape changed size. So let's put that back the way it was. I'm going to use a little trick to make it happen this time. So double click on that there so I can show my points there. Select of all those. So I've got those selected. Go to the edit menu and do transform control points. And this time we're going to, hang on, I'll have to stop that first. Let's go to edit and transform control points. And this time I can size this up by transforming the control points. And at first it looks like it's stayed the same and nothing's happened, but let's press play and you'll see that it reconfigures itself so that the emitter now follows the bigger shape that we've got. So that's pretty easy, that's nice and handy to be able to change the way that an emitter will follow the size of a shape. Now there are some shapes that you can just use directly with this here that are built in. So for instance, what we can do is we can go to this one here, change it from geometry to spiral. So spirals are quite difficult to draw, so it might be an idea to use something like this instead. And we can change the radius of it to make it bigger. And we can change the number of twists so that it spins further around. We can change the number of arms so that instead of having the three there, we change it just the one. There we go, we've got a, a spiral shaped emitter now, so let's press play. How good is that then? So, so let's just change the twists on this, so we have more twists on that there. And there you go, you've got a nice little spiral now from your magic wand. So this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and for Video Magical. And we'll have another look at this and see what more we can do with it in another video. Bye bye now, talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos, here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon, bye bye now.